Well, it's a very good question. We're finding that out right now as to what he can. We're overloading him, quite frankly, with a number of different looks. Um, we don't want defenses, uh, offenses to know where he is. You know, we're going to play him in a number of different uh, positions. He could be inside, outside, um, but we're moving him all over the place right now. And jumping back to the receivers, what do you think ProSize can do now, second time through yeah. as a receiver, and how high is Will Fuller's ceiling? Well, you know, CJ ProSize is an outstanding athlete that. You know, and I don't like to call any guys out, but he, he can give us even more. You know, so I think, you know, if there's a ceiling there, I think we can get more out of CJ. I think he's an outstanding athlete. He doesn't have a typical body type for that position. He's a big kid, but he's an extraordinary athlete. And so I think there's more there, and, and we're seeing it. He, he, um, he, He's got speed, he can catch the football, um, and we think he can be a really good blocker as an inside guy for us. So he's kind of a unique uh, player at that position. You usually don't get him big and physical in there. So um, I think he's got a high ceiling as well. On the outside, you know, Will Fuller, that, that kid is just, it's a matter of how far he wants to take his talents, you know. Weight room is gonna be huge. Um, Getting stronger, attention to detail, all the things that great players need to do. But he's a uh, he's a pretty good one. Brian, with with the investment that you're making defensively in sub packages, what happens when you go up against an offense that plays at the pace that you want to? I mean, are you going to be able to to get those guys on the field in those situations? Uh, well, not necessarily that, that you'll have to play all of those guys, but you'll certainly be able to get one or two of those guys into the game. Um, but we think that with the personnel that we have, um, that's why we're moving some guys around a lot right now, um, because they're going to give us some flexibility to play more than one position. So if, if you can't get them into the game, um, we can play them in more than one position. So that's where we think we're going to gain the flexibility defensively. And then Max was, Redfield was a guy that you really wanted to invest in at the end of last year. How would you evaluate where he's taken that since, since? Well, I don't think there's any question in his athletic ability. He's still, there's still a learning curve there for him in terms of what we're doing defensively. Um, but there's such a, um, <laughs> He's such a gifted athlete um, that it's it's so hard to look past his athletic ability, um, even though he's chasing, you know, the number two in the flat when he's got the deep middle. You know, um, we're 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 still in the learning curve with Max, but he is so gifted that you know you're that's why you're coaching, right? You got to get Max Redfield ready, and um, you know. We're going to get them ready.